Hi guys and welcome to this video on performing a regression analysis. Yes, this is a continuation of the Further Maths Units 3 and 4 videos that are dealing here with uh, least squares regression lines and all the excitement that comes with it. Now, obviously, this is now my uh, third video. Previously, we've looked at why we use least squares regression lines and how to use both the formula and your cares for least squares regression lines. Now we're going to perform an analysis, and I love this particular section, but it is absolutely huge in this course. Why? Because we're going to use it in stacks. There will be probably elements of this in exams. I cannot downplay or, in fact, overstress the importance of this particular video and those that will follow it. So I'm about to start, but if you haven't already done so, if you could do me the greatest of honor of subscribing to my YouTube channel, that'd be great. Um, never gonna be rich, never gonna be famous, but at least I know that people are watching it if you subscribe. So thank you so, so much if you can do that for me and also spread the word. And if you haven't already known, uh, mathsguru.com, there is a link on the page now, is where these videos can be easily sorted, searchable, with downloadable notes, etc., etc. So hopefully head over there, sign up for free, and, um, you know, uh, enjoy the maths that is available. Okay, so performing a regression analysis, as I say, I always normally start with a bit of a recap. We've looked at least squares lines and what they are. Now I think of those as basically lines of best fit. We're going to take data from a scatter graph or a scatter plot, and we're going to try and find some sort of line of best fit that'll either be positive or negative, and we'll be able to use that to predict. The whole point of this is to be able to predict values. But be careful, because there are these things called residuals and all of the excitement that goes around it. And if you haven't got any clue what I'm talking about, please head back to the previous two videos where I explain it to you, such that maybe some of this will make sense. Okay, I love a good recipe. Am I any good in the kitchen cooking? I should cocoa not at all, okay? Uh, put me in the kitchen and I have no idea what on earth is going on and probably couldn't even turn the cooker on. That's how inept I am, but hopefully it's because I'm recording videos. The recipe of success is shown above or behind me and literally it says those eight points should be able to give you 100% in every single regression analysis you could ever possibly do so long as we follow the recipe that it is given. So number one, construct a scatter plot to investigate the nature of an association. Number two, to calculate the correlation coefficient to indicate the strength of the relationship and so it goes on. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take some data provided to me by the Cambridge uh, Further Maths Units 3 and 4 textbook. Thank you Cambridge for allowing me to use your examples. And I'm going to step through this line by line by line to give you an understanding the next video is effectively going to take that data again and we're just going to do it twice All right so fingers crossed by the end of this you will be a gun as i say the notes are all downloadable on mathsguru.com so head on over there later on when i upload this video right so first things first as i say here we always need some data to be able to work with to help us find a regression analysis and they have to be numerical data both of them must must be numerical data so that we can draw our scatter plot and from that we do our regression analysis. Okay, so what do we have here? We have age and price in dollars. Now luckily the question has told us somewhere that uh, age is our explanatory and price in dollars is our response. Okay, so I think this has something to do with the price of cars. If I remember, it's about how as age increases, the value of the cars decrease. So first things first, construct a scatter plot. So I'm gonna go through this step by step by step. And number step number one says, construct a scatter plot to investigate the nature of the association. All right, so we can use a CAS. I'm gonna fire up my CAS and there we go. Now, as you can see, what I have here is the screenshots below of my actual uh, steps that I'm going to do because when you download these you should have something nice and easy to understand. So there's my data reason and it says construct a scatter plot. How do we do that? Well I'm going to hit this little button here and I'm going to say please 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 draw me a scatter plot and I want my age along the bottom so I'm going to go main age along the bottom and I'm going to go price up the side and set and yep no scatter plot because I now have to say, okay, can you draw me all the graphs that we need? And there we go. Lo and behold, there is my information. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually resize that bottom one. And there we go. Now, I don't know, on these uh, CAS calculators, particularly this Casio class pad, while I can seemingly get the values along the bottom, 
I cannot get the values up the side to show on this calculator at all. If you know how to, leave a comment below and I will give you a credit in a later video. No, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.